Hello, this is Ernest with Zero Time Trucks in Crystal City. So today we're out on a uh, mobile diagnostic call, road call, whatever you want to call it. And we got a 95 Freightliner. It's a Series 60 Detroit. And the problem with it is that uh, the, the throttle drops out while, while driving. Okay. So what we found is on the on the scan tool, it, show, it drops from 100% uh, down to zero. And then uh, if you leave your foot there to stay at zero, you lift your foot. And you come right back down on it, it goes back up to 100%, uh, percent, and then it drops back down again. So we checked the pedal position sensor, and that wasn't what it was. I have signal all the way to the ECM. So, I, uh, well, I did it. They put a couple of ECMs on here, and they said they were still having the same problem. The problem that I have is that, you know, if you're going to call me out here to work, then uh, don't, don't come in behind me trying to do things, because then I don't know what's going on. So... Anyway, I was checking the SRS TRS sensor, got a capture in that. What it is that we're not getting a good signal, but it's not coming from the uh, sensor itself. It's coming from the ECM. So I put an, a test ECM on it, and I'll show you that right now. So you can see I got a test ECM on it, and then I've got my probes. I got my probes hooked up. Okay, so I am at the... Uh, Positive and negative on the uh, TRS sensor, the, the the lower one, the crankshaft position sensor, the crankshaft sensor. So let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you the the capture. Well, I'll show you what what it does right now. And that's that's what I would want to see. Okay, that's running. Okay, so let me show you what we had. When, uh, when I couldn't get it running. See, and it's kind of not fair because this one's running. Uh, when we got here, the uh, the truck wouldn't start. When I put this ECM, it started right up. But I still should have a better signal. Let me show you what I have. That's the signal I had before, uh, before I put my, my test ECM on it. And as you can see, it looks nothing, nothing like what I have now. So the problem was, uh, obviously, it's not coming from the sensor because I didn't replace the sensor. I replaced the ECM, but we have voltage drop, and that's what's actually going on because they're mimicking each other. Let me try to zoom in on that. Okay, so that's the waveform. I zoomed in on it, but as you can see, they're, they're mimicking each other. So I would say that that's voltage drop. Something's going on inside the ECM, but we had no codes. Let me show you. Let me show you my laptop. These are the codes. These first two. Those are mine. This is a test ECM. I know that's what's wrong with it. But uh, so those are mine. All the rest of them are his. And he has, you know, engine brake, as you can see, some auxiliary codes. But nothing, nothing, nothing to tell us what was going on. Why was he dropping out? So uh, anyway, um, they put two, S two test ECMs on it. The one that's on there right now. And then they have one, the original one that was on it. And then I got mine on it now. Mine is working. Uh, I drove it that way, hang in and everything. I didn't lose. They also had injector four, injector six that was cutting out on them. So now this is taking care of all the problems. So what we need now is a good ECM. But this is one of those things. How would you know? Um, I mean, you can put a good ECM on it. You, you did good at taking care of it. Was it the ECM? Was it the harness? Was it the sensor? You know, and that's where the uh, scope comes into play. So again, we're trying to be as accurate as we possibly can and be as quick as we possibly can so that uh, we can make this thing happen.